Hello dear tribe and welcome to the making of the first ordeal. This was a commission brought to me several months ago that I hesitated on accepting um, due to the complexity of, of the request and I, I just wasn't quite certain that I was capable of pulling off not only the richness of the concept but through the eyes of somebody else. So somebody else's perspective of, in this case, self-growth, active self-growth. Um, after considering it for quite a while, I ended up accepting it, and um, it, it's been a great journey. We had a lot of discussions online and even a, a phone call um, to discuss these the details and um, the direction of, of what my client was wanting and how to clarify that image so that the story came through so the actual meaning was stronger than the original request because it, it was sort of muddled with all of these great concepts but they, they were too much for just one piece. So in an effort to clarify it and make a really solid image um, with strong meaning, you know, we sort of distilled all of these different ideas uh, down to, to what you see being made before you. So the basis of this commission is, as I said, active self-growth. It's sort of the destruction of the ideals and the habits and the patterns that you've picked up and that society has, you know, trained you into um, that you, you don't like. It's giving those up and transforming them into the parts of you that you do like and strengthening yourself away from unhealthy ego. So after almost a dozen concepts uh, being sent back and forth and discussed and altered and redesigned, uh, we figured out the most important symbols that really he was trying to get to and how they fit together um, to portray this spiritual experience. So we have this central being here that is made up of a highly reflective sort of chrome material for the majority of his body. And we have these two angels um, that are almost battling or interacting, um, transforming him in certain areas. And where those areas are is surrounded by healthy human flesh. So there is the symbolism of you know, transforming the reflection of society to be more true and more healthy. The angels here um, are representations of those healthy habits or the healthy parts of the self that we aspire to make stronger, that we um, see in others, that we sometimes can be jealous of even when living on a competitive plane. But if you're living on a creative plane, then you start to interact with those parts of yourself, like in this painting. You can recognize those parts in you instead of feel like that's something that someone else has and that you wish you had. So um, this is also a, a part of, of the illustration of this piece is um, finding those good parts of yourself and recognizing them and interacting with them actively. So as far as the technicality is concerned, um, I worked mainly on one single layer uh, during this process. That was to try and maintain an oil painted feel instead of get too tight and digital with, with this painting um, as per request of my client. So. I essentially almost exclusively worked in just a single layer until I hit the, cl the color stage, um, in which case I did create an additional layer on top of it and did an overlay. Um, so I, I tried to get all of the grayscale proper, get all my tones down. Um, <laughs> sorry, right there, I was, I was on Twitch um, 
so I had to take a quick break. <laughs> Which reminds me, um, I wanted to apologize because I am fairly new to Twitch and in that process I completely forgot at times to press my record button for my screen. So you will see large jumps if you haven't noticed already um, of completion. So <laughs> it'll be at one stage and then all of a sudden it's like all colored and so I, I really apologize for um, missing, having you miss out on some of the more important rendering parts of this piece because I was distracted learning Twitch and I'm really happy that I am. So um, right now, just as a side note, if you do follow me on any other social media, I'm sure that you've seen some of my posts. I'm doing an original art giveaway um, for followers of my Twitch account. I'm trying to get to 50 followers so that I can then have a subscribe button and be an affiliate with Twitch. So if you would like an opportunity to win one of my original pieces, I'm giving away five by sevens um, at the end of every month until I hit my goal. So my, my Twitch handle is Illustrated Spirit and I hope to see you there. So back to this painting. Um, Yes, yeah, so now we have a bunch of color in. As you can see, it all just sort of <laughs> appeared, but it was a pretty loose overlay um, on, on that secondary layer I was describing earlier, um, just to get some basics in. And now I'm just going through and adding some more detail, but trying, again, not to push it too far into detail or over-render things. I wanted to create a nice atmosphere in this piece, um, create a sense of largeness and scale, um, and also softness. So not everything was rendered as tightly as everything else, and, uh, you know, lose... Con I didn't want to lose contrast by any means. I kind of feel at this point I started losing momentum because I was hitting this point where I wasn't quite sure what else to add. Um, I felt like all of the all of the marks that I was making, they just weren't really adding much. I was just sort of pushing paint around and so I, I definitely took <laughs> lots of reference photos to help me through that stagnation. Uh, I, I just didn't quite have solid direction and didn't feel like my work was really advancing past this point, but I knew that the painting wasn't finished. I, that's one of the most frustrating stages in a painting that I hit almost every time, is I know it's not done, but I can't see what else needs to be done. And I know that I'm missing something, but I just can't see it. So you just kind of keep fumbling around and you keep painting and pushing it around and, you know, my, my fiance has been such a great help to me. It's, it's, I'm just so lucky to have somebody who's an amazing artist to bounce these ideas off of because when I hit a point like this, I can always go to him and say, um, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm really struggling here. What is it that I'm missing? And almost every time it's, it, he has the answer. It's like, oh, you know what? He's not rendered. He, he looks soft. And to me, I'm thinking, he doesn't look soft. Are you kidding me? He's super detailed. He's really reflective. And, but in the end, like he's right. So um, taking that suggestion, I started focusing mainly on the central creature, um, which was, oh, man, so, complicated for me to do chrome with three different light sources going on and like uh, trying to keep the main form from disappearing and having all of the material read properly but then also read differently than the, is, these interactive points and it was just a real challenge and I think ultimately um, it reads it reads that way <laughs> hopefully <laughs> um i basically looked up a bunch of reference from the matrix uh, when neo touches that mirror and it starts to like morph his whole hand and go up his face and then also terminator 2 with the t1000 was great reference for a human form in chrome um, so 
just want to shout out thank you Nick for all of your help on this piece because it would not have developed this way without you. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then at this point, I definitely was getting a little bit too hot with the colors um, around this sort of like that aggro symbol, <laughs> that expression of anger and hotness and rage and transformation that's happening from this being. Um, so now I'm, I'm going through and trying to balance those colors and also add some more reflection of said colors to the body to make it read a little bit more like that metallic um, surface. And of course my paintings wouldn't be complete without a last minute change. Um, it was bothering me how dark his face was, so actually just this morning I altered um, the front of his face where his mouth is to lighten it up um, and become less busy and add a little bit more form to his overall skull. So thank you again for joining me um, for this commission and I appreciate all of your support. Huge shout out to Nick uh, who is an amazing illustrator and an inspired writer. If you want to go exploring space in an educated and scientific way, man, Nick is your guy. So I'll have um, his and my links below so you can check out all of our social media sites and also buy some prints if you'd like. And thank you again for watching. Jessica out.